The Corsair K7E Max is equipped with MGX switches, utilizing Hall Effect sensors that give you more control over every keystroke, and is fully customizable when paired with Corsair IQ. To start setting up your K7E Max, launch Corsair IQ and go to Key Assignments. Key Assignments allow you to apply a key remap, macro, or any other action to any of the keys on the K7E Max. Just add an assignment, pick the assignment type, and configure it to your preference. Hardware key assignments are saved to an onboard profile for instances where IQ isn't running. To customize your K7E Max's lighting, go to Lighting Effects. Here you can apply any combination of preset, custom, or lighting link effects to any single key or group of keys on the K7E Max. Hardware lighting lets you customize the effect that will be played back when the K7E Max is running an onboard profile, such as when your system is locked or IQ isn't running. The K7E Max also features full support for IQ murals for advanced lighting that syncs across all compatible devices connected to your system. With the K70 Max's MGX switches, you're able to create different actuation presets that can change how the keys react to your presses. To add a new preset, hit the plus button. If you simply want to change the actuation point, which is the distance the key needs to travel downward for it to activate, you can do so by using the slider to pick a new actuation point. You can also enable dual point actuation by toggling on a secondary actuation point that can be assigned to a separate action in key assignments. This is useful if you want to map two actions to a key, such as crouching with a slight press and going prone with a full press. If you wish to change the reset point of a key, which is how far up the key needs to travel before you can press down again, you can toggle on the reset point and change it to your desired setting. Or you can enable rapid trigger mode, which will immediately reset a key so that it can be actuated again in quick succession, which is great for quick movements or anything else requiring rapid inputs. Once you've set up your new actuation preset, assign it an indicator color and apply it to the desired keys by selecting them in the preview window. If you wish to adjust the behavior of common shortcuts for the keyboard or change the profile and function indicator colors, go to the performance tab. And finally, the device settings menu is where you can check for firmware updates, change the polling rate, and save your hardware key assignments and hardware lighting to an onboard profile. And that's it. The K70 Max and its MGX switches enable a new way to play, letting you do things you wouldn't think would be possible with a traditional gaming keyboard. And Corsair IQ gives you complete control. Thanks for watching.